Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Another extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Wednesday, the 22nd of January. I'm James Spann. Temperatures around 50 today. Feels a little better. We've got a cold rain tomorrow, but the weekend looks dry. Let's take a look at things this afternoon. This is the upper airflow across the country, troughing west of the state across the Great Plains. Clouds have been increasing across the state today. The clouds are thicker west of the state where some rain is falling there, but we're dry. And as expected, we are not as cold today. It's 50 in Montgomery, 50 in Alexander City, Birmingham at 47. Still below average, but at least moving in the right direction. And tonight, most locations will stay above the freezing mark because of the clouds in place. But around the nation, the air beginning to modify. Temperatures not as cold up north. And we'll see average temperatures, we think, by the time we get to the weekend. On the watch warning map, we still have winter weather advisories in effect for parts of Arkansas, Missouri, Iowa. They've had some sleet, freezing rain, snow, kind of a wintry mix there. Here's the severe weather outlook through tonight. No severe storms expected. Maybe some thunder over about the eastern half of Texas and the parts of Arkansas, Louisiana. Tomorrow, parts of South Alabama could hear some thunder, but most of the state just a cold rain. And on day three, which is Friday... A chance of thunder off to the east, but again, severe storms not expected. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Heavy rain for the upper part of the Pacific coast. And down here, rain amounts for most of the state between one half and one inch between now and Wednesday morning of next week. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run ballot tomorrow afternoon at 3. Troughing approaching from the west and rain moving in during the day. This is the high-res NAM at noon. Not going to rain all day, but the rain should become more widespread by late afternoon and especially tomorrow night. And because of clouds and rain, most likely we stay in the 40s all day tomorrow. This is 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. Rain at that point should be fairly widespread across the northern half of the state. But then by 6 o'clock Friday morning, the rain is moving out. So it sure likes a, it looks like a decent chunk of the day Friday will be dry. In fact, this is the synoptic scale look Friday afternoon at 3, rain off to the east. And we might creep up into the 50s. Clouds will probably linger, maybe a little sun Friday afternoon. What about the weekend? Well, looks dry and seasonal. This is Saturday, partly sunny with mid-50s. And Sunday, partly sunny with mid-50s. Next week on Monday, we're dry. Upper 50s are likely, and this is Tuesday. Rain to the west will be close to 60. The sky partially sunny. Then a week from today, this is Wednesday the 29th, troughing moving in and another rain event. Surface low this time pretty far to the north, but uh, no instability, not expecting any severe weather problems and probably not much thunder. But it looks like that next chance of rain will be Tuesday night into part of the day Wednesday of next week. Now, let's go out to Friday of next week, the 31st, and oh, if we only had cold air, and if this were to verify, a deep surface low in Appalachia Bay uh, to the southeast of Apalachicola. That's a perfect snow setup with cold air, but no cold air expected, so just rain. And then the following day, this is Saturday, the 1st of February, deep troughing over the east. And if this is right, a nasty-looking nor'easter kind of thing up there in the northeastern states, but the European not quite as aggressive. And obviously, this is 10 days out. That could change. Birmingham's rain for the next 15 days. The mean, about 2 inches. Temperatures, pretty close to average, really, if you average all those numbers out. Highs most days in the 50s and lows in the 30s and low 40s. These are the temperature anomalies for the 30th of January through the 5th of February, suggesting very brutally cold air across Alaska, but much of the contiguous United States with above average temperatures. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.
KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.